Hello beautiful Sagittarius, welcome to the channel. My name is Donna and this is a love reading in which we are going to cover what your person thinks, feels, and intends with you with a Celtic cross spread. So welcome, welcome, and welcome back to subscribers. Thank you. All right, the energy at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, the King of Cups. Sagittarius, you've got some a really sexy Scorpio energy that wants you. Look at the King and Queen of Cups. A reunion may be in the offering. That's Scorpio energy. Looks like there was some sort of disagreement. So let's see what's going on here with your beautiful Sagittarius energy. All right, Sagittarius, your person feels that you are amazing. You look good. You feel good. You smell good. You are everything that everyone would want. You are single, ready to mingle, and you don't really need anybody, Sag. Look at there, and here's your here's the Wheel of Fortune. There you are in your reading. Your person feels extremely lucky that they have met you, that they've gotten to spend time with you. Sagittarius, nice energy. Right now, we see this King of Swords energy, uh, which is your person really thinking very long and hard about what it is that they want. They're strategizing. The King of Swords energy is someone who's very strategic, someone who's trying to come up with a plan. In the recent past, we have Aries energy, the Emperor energy. That's a lot of men. Your person feels as though you're attractive to a lot of people, that you could be dating more than one person, that they have to come up with a strategy if they want to win your heart. Let's look. Chariot card. Okay. There we have it. The Emperor is strategically driving the chariot in your direction. Cancerian energy. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> so that is what they want. But look at this. Did you leave them in the cold, Sag? That Hermit card says that your person is searching for answers. They've taken their inner Buddha off to the mountain. They are trying to seek answers by meditating. They're trying to figure out how to get what they want in this relationship with you. The Seven of Swords says that they are willing, actually, to be a little bit sneaky about how they approach you. That's an interesting card because it says that this person has no intention of losing out to anyone else. So you're dealing with somebody who has very deep emotions for you and they feel like the competition must be thrashed. <laughs> All right. The Two of Swords says that something has happened here that has made you, this is you, Sag, you don't kind of want to hear something. I'm getting that if this person lied to you, they're just, you know, Sag, you're not going to speak to them. I'm not necessarily seeing that as what it is. I see someone who's very hell-bent on winning you, but you don't seem too interested in this person. Okay. Their biggest fear is that you will not speak to them. What is the outcome of this reading? Seven of Cups, keeping options open. All right. So what I'm getting here sag is it looks as though your person kept their options open they thought that they could sneak around date you you know you weren't really dating exclusively from what i can tell but what i'm getting here is that your energy is you know your energy is look it if you're not focused on me i'm okay with that i'm good i'm a single woman i have a lot to offer i have no problems moving forward and now your person is like da 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 maybe i better come in here and straighten this up however you know the end result right now is that you may leave them out in the cold with that seven of cups so let's see what we have here for your nine of pentacles energy this energy is what they think of you. And it, you know, as we all know, those who watch tarot, the Nine of Pentacles is the most single desirable lady card there is. All right. So why do we have this Virgo energy here in the Nine of Pentacles? Ace of Wands, they see you involved in something new, some sort of new creative project. They see you as fiery and passionate. They want to make love with you. They're offering their wand. But it looks like they might have only offered a wand instead of something more substantial in the past. So let's see what we have here for the Wheel of Fortune, Three of Swords, okay? So it looks as though they thought that you were dating a lot of other people and you really weren't so interested in them. 
The King of Swords is down here with this Pisces energy trying to figure out what went wrong, why you really don't want to speak to them. The Three of Swords can also mean that both of you are dating other people, but it does look as though Sagittarius, your person wants you. They don't want anyone else, but it does look like they didn't really make the right strategic moves towards you, and they're trying to fix it right now. Why is the Emperor card here? We have the Three of Wands energy. So your person sees you as the person that they want, the person they find desirable. Strategically, you are the person that they, they truly want to connect with. But I feel as though they didn't really make anything clear. They've dated you and sort of treated you in a haphazard manner. I feel as though they didn't give you their undivided attention, nor did they show you anything that would have made you feel that they cared as much as they do. Why is the chariot card here? The emperor is driving the chariot. The emperor always drives the chariot. So what we see is them rushing forward. Uh, they're, they are searching for the answers on how to approach you. They don't know that they can approach you with the absolute truth, but I feel as though you're not going to accept anything less. So why is the hermit card here for you in this reading at this time? Why is the hermit card here? The Eight of Cups, you walked away from them. You know, they were so busy doing their thing, just feeling like, oh, we're just having fun over here. But they were falling in love with you, even though I don't think that you were falling in love with them. You were judging them to be a person who couldn't be bothered. There were times that I don't think they, they answered your text message. I feel as though you knew, Sag, that they were dating other people, they were being sneaky, they were not being very overt about it, and I just feel as though you didn't like the lack of, the lack, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm just shuffling. You did not like the lack of good judgment. You, for you, it's all about honesty, it's all about being very transparent. Judgment card, you let this person go. The Three of Swords energy says that you had better prospects, but now they want to come back. It shows that they do not think that you will talk to them, and they think that you will not talk to them because they were dishonest with you. Again, devil energy, toxic energy. They don't see you as wanting to be a part of that. The Eight of Swords, again, shows that you have really locked yourself away, sequestered. Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords, you are not talking to this person. You are just, you are not having it, is what I'm seeing here. Why do we have the Eight of Swords twice for our beautiful Sagittarius friend's lover? Okay, we see the Eight of Coins. So your person wants to work on this relationship. They really feel as though they want to give all their effort to it. The Ten of Coins is mastery. The Page of Pentacles says that they're coming up with a plan. I like the energy there. And the Seven of Cups for the outcome card. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Because I'm not so sure that you're not. I really feel like you may not give them this chance at all, even though they're making some big sort of move towards you. So the Seven of Cups is the outcome. Why is that here? Queen of Swords, you're cutting them out of your life. You are not having it, Sagittarius. Queen of Swords, let's see. The Queen of Swords with the six of wands if you're not okay so this there's a little bit more to the story here so what we're having here is a nine of swords energy so sag it looks like your person's going to come in it looks like they're going to apologize it looks as though they definitely they definitely want to change the dynamic they don't that you have cut them out the Nine of Swords says that they're almost afraid to even contact you, but that is them having remorse, regret, and the Six of Wands is making an offer, making a very big statement offer, uh, really introducing you to their friends, putting you as a center of attention, really putting every bit of focus on you. I am very curious what the Moonology deck is going to offer in terms of advice, Sag, because you're obviously here because you want to know about this person. Tell us about what this person did or what is, tell us about the advice that you have, Oracle, please. Tell us what Sag should do. Your dreams need a practical plan. 
So what I'm seeing here is actually spirit is calling on you to be very practical. I mean, if this is a person that you were really attracted to, spirit is saying, you know, do what you need to do to make it work. Uh, but you really do, if you don't want to be single for every every year of your life sad that you need a practical plan and how you're going to deal with the situation that you need to be really grounded when you speak to this person you need to know what you're doing you need to be very specific in terms of what you require in a relationship you need to disclose that they need to really understand who you are and you know what you're about Okay, so what else do we have from the Shaman's Dream Oracle? Eye of the Needle, intentionality. The Eye of the Needle is all about telling this person precisely how to thread the needle to win you back and do not let your standards down. If they're not successful, they fall on their face. If they are successful, you'll see how successful you deem them to be in terms of a connection with you. We have gathering around the power of community, which is a six of wands. So you do have people who are invested in this couple. And it's going to really be up to you, Sag, because you have no tolerance for people who lie. So it looks like you're getting an apology. And it looks like it's going to be up to you to decide what to do. But Universe has very specific recommendations. So thank you, Sag, so much for watching. Take care.